Another key feature in wood identification is wood fluorescence. Some wood species, like this black locust here, under the black light, they just glow. Like this fluorescent, or uh, this highlighted green color that this one emits. It's especially more visible with the naked eye. My iPhone's capabilities are very limited. And uh, I had to place the sample just about maybe two inches away from the black light to capture the greenness uh, with the naked eye this one lights up whereas some other wood species they just look cardboard brown this one also has a little bit of sapwood here and the rest of it is heartwood this is yellow poplar just cardboard brown this one black locust the difference between sapwood and heartwood is clearly visible cream sapwood but the heartwood is fluorescent green you might get uh, different wood species have different color it could be fluorescent yellow or some have orange or pink fluorescent color fluorescent colors another piece is spe another specimen here uh, also yellow poplar just cardboard brown and uh, I'll show you the setup here, what kind of light bulb I'm using. Let me just get the light switch. Yeah, it's pitch dark basically. And we've got neon light here now on the deck. And under this neon light, everything looks just uniformly cardboard brown. With not a great deal of difference between those two colors or yeah there is a bit of difference this this hardwood is somewhat somewhat greenish in natural light but uh, it, it isn't fluorescent by any means so my by black light I mean this just a socket with a simple black light bulb in it black light bulb is a party supply for kids birthdays and uh, at this point I have this bulb mounted from Canadian Tire this one is from Rona not bad and this one is from the dollar store don't bother two dollars I don't know six dollars five dollars something like that so this works the best uh, with uh, with the uh, I, with the iPhone's uh, capabilities here and that's all there is to this setup and one piece of wood and these uh, light bulb boxes for just a spacer these two yellow poplar specimens here are dry this was cut two weeks ago but it's a fairly thin slice I did not sand it or otherwise specially prepare it this is just cut with a single cut on a miter saw that's all there is to it to actually see fluorescence you might need to sand it and make the surface absolutely uniform uh, on a hundred grit sandpaper or some such uh, grit but because the uh, wood fluorescence is so strong in this one uh, it just it just works on a freshly cut piece even if it's cut with a chainsaw I did try and there have one last look at it fluorescent green completely different from this one which is just uniform brown all right that's how wood fluorescence works out and uh, you can use it to identify wood species that are maybe not re closely related or related at all but just similar in color